Meteorologist Lauren Whitney looking at the snow totals, but we want to start with Michael Abeda in Jefferson County, where Michael just going a few miles in the car was a real challenge. Conditions right now vary depending on where you're driving, and the main roads are pretty much clear, but on the side roads, it's a totally different story. It was just a tricky situation for anyone out there. Wednesday night, a storm rolled into Colorado, dumping heavy wet snow all over the metro area, more than some were expecting. It was uh, a little out of nowhere, but it's Colorado for you. Ryan Tweed was out driving when the storm hit and conditions quickly deteriorated. He saw this car get stuck and decided to get out and help, even though he was wearing shorts. You wear what's ever comfortable, regardless of the weather, and uh, you know, the weather almost adapts to you. <laughs> He was on the roads until early Thursday morning, and he too eventually got stuck. But he wasn't alone. From Aurora to Morrison, motorists had to dig themselves out from several inches of snow. Even this U.S. mail truck got caught up. Ryan says conditions were bad. The roads were definitely, uh, they were still a little bit slick, but the weather was nice enough that it wasn't, there was no black ice. But he thinks things could have been much worse. It was slick, it was wet, but at the same time, it wasn't below freezing like last week. And he says in times like these, all we can do is help each other get through the storm. He says it's the Colorado way. We're all out in this together, you know? You gotta take care of your neighbors. Now the main roads, while clear, are still wet, and it's gonna get colder tonight, which means it's likely that they're gonna freeze. So if you're headed out, make sure and take your time. In Jeffco, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first.